let me show you how to install a really powerful uptime monitor that's called uptime kuma it's an open source so that means it's going to be completely free and it's going to be super easy to install no messing around with terminal file managers nothing like that it's going to be a super quick install so let me show you how to do this right now what's up everyone i'm going to show you how to install uptime kuma super fast and super easy it's a really powerful uptime monitor for a bunch of things not just monitoring websites you can monitor dns push game dig mono db radius redis etc a whole bunch of things that's really powerful now instead of doing this manually with terminal and github and all that we're going to use server avatar that's going to make our life super easy now what we have to do is obviously have a vps where we're going to install these files in this case, I am going to use a hosting or BPS because they're the sponsor of this video, but you can use any BPS that you want. Now, if you want to grab a BPS from Hostinger, go to hosting, BPS hosting, and in hosting, you're going to be able to find several plans available. Now, if you're going to use this for Uptime Kuma and you're going to be monitoring your own sites and like couple sites, etc., you will be good with KVM1. But if you have several sites and you monitor really constantly and you're going to do this for clients, then definitely check these out, all right? So in this case, I'm going to use the KBM2 for testing purposes because I want to show you how to apply a discount coupon code. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend for 24 months, you lock in the lowest price, lowest or no price, and you're good to go for 24 months. Now, this is the price right now, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $150 with 98 cents. That's for 24 months. So it's a good deal. Now, in this case, I already have the VPS installed on server avatar. If you want to watch a dedicated video of how to install VPS, I'll be leaving the link in the description. Now, the only thing I will tell you is that you will need to install a node server. So when you connect your VPS in servers, add your details right here and select node stack. Okay, don't select these because you won't be able to, to install Uptime Akuma. All right, so let's go into our servers. I am going to select the node server that I have already ready from Hostinger that I'm using. And I'm going to go to applications and applications. I'm going to go to create. And this is where I'm going to start with my details. The first thing is add a name to our application name. And I'm going to say Kuma monitor, right? And I have the option to use my primary domain or a subdomain. All I have to do is connect my domain via DNS and connect it to this IP address to obviously my BPS address. Yours will be different, right? In this case, I'll be using a test domain for testing purposes. And I'll say Kuma monitor. I'll use one click and I'm going to select Uptime Kuma and I'm going to start creating my app. Now, this is going to take around two to three minutes and server avatar is going to take care of all the installation process. So it's going to go and do everything in terminal. It's going to do anything, do everything for us. We're not going to copy codes. We're not going to paste anything, no manual typing. This is going to do everything for us. So let's give it a couple of minutes. There we go. Uptime Kumo has now been installed on our VPS. Tell me that wasn't quick and easy. So if we jump over to this link, it should be ready. So this is the first step to getting started with Uptime Kuma. Select the language that you want to use this with. Create a username and password. So I'll say Kuma Monitor and I'll add, I'll add a password. All right, let's go to create. And here we go. We are now logged into Kuma. All right, so if I log out, this time, what it's going to do is obviously take me to the login page. I don't need to go through the process of installation again. So again, let me use this again, monitor, let's log in and boom, we're now logged in. To create a new monitor, go to add a new monitor and go through this process. Select the monitor type and you are good to go. Now, Uptime Kuma is really powerful and obviously free, which is one of the best parts. So if you want a free Uptime monitor, do check out Uptime Kuma. Now, like I said, Server Avatar is going to make everything easy for us. Just install the BPS here. So if you need a BPS, do check out Hostinger's BPS. If you need Server Avatar to install Uptime Kuma, well, I'll be leaving the link in the description also. And that's a wrap.